Hello YouTube, this is another QAZ WSX2541 Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do normal mapping in the Blender game engine. So this assumes that you already have the normal map and your uh, standard texture. They should look uh, somewhat like these two here. So this is the normal map of this texture. So as long as it, you know, appears to be close to that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to split the 3D view and we're going to open the UV image editor. We're going to open both of our images. We're going to open the diffuse map, which is this one. And next we're going to open the normal map, which is this one. So then we're going to, with our cube selected or object selected, we're going to hit A to select all of the vertices and then hit U and unwrap. So next what we're going to do is we're going to switch from Blender Render to Blender Game and from uh, Standard to Texture Viewport Shading. Then with the object selected, um, we go to the Render tab and hit GLSL and then go to the Material tab, add a new material. This one already has a material because that's how I have it as default. Open Texture tab and we're gonna switch this to a image or movie. We're then going to select our image, which will be the diffuse app there, so you see that. And we're gonna switch this from generated to UV. So now we've got our UV mapped uh, cube. So next what we're gonna do is we're going to click on the second texture slot and we're gonna hit new. And we're going to switch that to an image or movie and this will be our normal map. So now our cube turns purple. We'll switch it to uh, UV coordinates. So blue still. And then we need to go to image sampling and turn on normal map. After that we can scroll down, unselect color, and select normal under geometry. And then by changing the value of normal we can change the intensity of the normal map. So there you have it, that's how you can do normal mapping in the Blender game engine. Um, there is a more advanced way of doing this and that is a uh, parallax, parallax mapping. Uh, so you can check that out, Google other tutorials or I may make a tutorial in the future on that. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.